Saint Eulody was born to a royal family of the kings of Turkey in a place called Iconium in Asia Minor, present-day Konya, Central Turkey. Her husband was a chief in the army of Turkey and he suddenly died in the year AD 304. Her son Saint Kyriakos was born in AD 302. Between the years 303 and 312 AD, the emperor Diocletian began his persecution against the Christians. Saint Eulati and Saint Kyriakos were martyred on July 22nd, 305. During Diocletian's persecution, worried about her son, Saint Eulati took Kyriakos along with two of her maids and fled from Iconium to Seleucia in Syria. Seleucia was no better, so they left Seleucia and traveled to Tarsus. The governor of Tarsus, Alexandros, was also very cruel and bloodthirsty and was known for killing Christians with his bare hands. The saint and her son lived as strangers among the people of Tarsus. Soon they were brought before Alexandros. The saint realized that it was an invitation from God to martyrdom, since she could not escape persecution. So she decided in her heart to remain faithful until the end. What is your name, beautiful woman? I am a Christian. So you follow Jesus? whom the Jews crucified. I call upon his holy name, though I am not worthy. Do you know that our emperor ordered the extermination of all the Christians? Yes, I know. Aren't you scared of death? Don't you want to save your beauty? Governor, you must know by now that all Christians are willing to die for their Lord the Christ. Your cruel tactics and severe abuse will only strengthen their faith. Bring me that child from the Christian woman. Throw her on the ground and whip her with lashes made of cow's nerves. She must learn how to answer me. The soldiers grabbed Saint Kyriakos from the arms of his mother and gave him to Alexandros. Saint Eulati was then thrown to the ground and was whipped. Why don't you come back to your senses and save your life and your sons too? For if you agree to sacrifice to the idols, I promise to release both of you. You surprise me with such an offer, which even a child like my son would not accept. In this case, let us ask the child. Son, would you agree to worship the idols? Your gods are made of stone and wood. My real god is Jesus Christ. I am a Christian. I worship the real God, Jesus Christ, who made the heaven and earth. I am a Christian. I am a Christian. The soldiers started beating again, but she endured the pain with joy, giving her son a practical example on how to remain faithful until the end. Alexandros angrily threw St. Kyriakos with all of his power to the ground. St. Kyriakos hit his head against one of the concrete steps and died instantly to receive the crown of martyrdom. He was only three years old. Thank you, my lord, because you considered Kuriakos worthy of receiving this glorious crown. I ask you now, my savior, to take me also, for this is my ultimate desire, to be with my son in the heavenly kingdom, where we can enjoy your presence with us for eternity. Let her be beheaded and let the two bodies be thrown into a dump. O Holy One, may peace be where you draw. O merchants who brought life to the sons of men, open to us your treasury of prayers and keep this place in which you dwell from all harm. As no other just preserved animals which entered with him on the day of the flood. Rise up, you martyrs, protect creation from the tempest and the waves which surround it. Those on high marvel, those below honor, your great name and your splendor, Saint Kuriakos. Your Lord, when he saw the way of your life, magnify your memory, may your prayer help us.